Hello and welcome to The Better Dimension. In the realm of theories surrounding human evolution, few have sparked as much curiosity and debate as the stoned ape hypothesis. Formulated by Terence McKenna, an ethnobotanist and philosopher, this hypothesis states that the main cause of apes evolving into humans was the continuous consumption of psilocybin mushrooms. McKenna theorized that the ingestion of these psychoactive fungi might have been a pivotal factor in the exponential growth of the human brain, leading to advancements in cognition, language, and culture. If we're looking for a missing link, it isn't a transitional skeleton, it isn't meddling by extraterrestrials. It has to do with the fact that we began to allow into our diet an exotic pseudo-neurotransmitter that was part of the native flora of the grassland. And I believe this mushroom was the triggering factor that moved us from being an advanced hominid, an advanced animal, to being, in fact, a conscious, self-reflecting, caring, thinking, dreaming, striving human being. And here is my answer to this riddle, where did human consciousness come from? Psilocybin, the active compound in magic mushrooms, works by activating serotonin receptors in the brain, particularly the 5-HT2A receptor, which plays a crucial role in the regulation of mood, cognition, and perception. The effects of psilocybin include altered states of consciousness, with users reporting enhanced visual and auditory sensations, a sense of interconnectedness with the universe, and profound introspective insights. Such experiences, McKenna argued, could have been the catalyst for the leap in human evolution from simple tool users to complex beings capable of art, spirituality, and science. Examining the stoned ape hypothesis requires both openness and critical thinking. In this video, I will explain the hypothesis and go over the arguments that support it as well as the arguments against it. Join this exploration armed with curiosity and readiness to question the boundaries of our historical understanding and psychological potential. Terence McKenna's stoned ape hypothesis introduces an intriguing view on human evolution, suggesting that psilocybin mushrooms were the key factor in the process. His idea begins with early humans searching for new sources of food after the recession of rainforests, mainly caused by climate change. In their quest, they began to consume psychoactive fungi that commonly grow from cattle excrement to this day. McKenna, in his book, Food of the Gods, wrote that he himself witnessed baboons in Africa engaging in the same behavior. They were eating psilocybin mushrooms growing from animal excrement. Returning to our ancestors, McKenna argued that this regular consumption caused profound evolutionary changes, such as the doubling of human brain size and the emergence of language. Over countless generations, the effects of psilocybin not only altered the immediate perceptions of these early humans, but also gradually reshaped their brain's architecture and functionality. McKenna theorized that the altered states of consciousness induced by psilocybin could have amplified neural pathways in the brain, leading to increased creativity, problem-solving abilities, and social cooperation. These enhanced traits would have given our ancestors a substantial advantage in survival and reproduction. McKenna proposed that psilocybin mushrooms played a key role in the development of human language and symbolic thinking. The vivid visual and auditory hallucinations experienced during mushroom trips could have acted as a catalyst for the formation of symbols and words, laying the foundation for complex language and, by extension, culture. The idea that psychoactive substances could have a direct influence on the evolution of human consciousness is both fascinating and controversial.
It suggests that our progression from primitive creatures to complex beings capable of art, science, and spirituality may have been shaped by our interactions with psychedelic compounds, revealing insights we are just starting to understand. If you enjoyed the video so far, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. And now, let's dive back into the video. The stoned ape hypothesis, while controversial, is supported by a variety of arguments grounded in scientific research and observations. These arguments suggest that psilocybin mushrooms could indeed have played a significant role in the evolutionary leap of human cognition and social behavior. Argument 1. Neurogenesis and Cognitive Expansion One of the cornerstone arguments for the stoned ape hypothesis is the potential of psilocybin to induce neurogenesis, the growth and development of nervous tissue. 2013 research has shown that psilocybin can stimulate the growth of new brain cells and enhance neural connectivity. This increased brain plasticity could theoretically have allowed our ancestors to make major leaps in problem solving, creativity, and adaptability. Such cognitive expansion would have been critical in navigating the complex social and environmental challenges of their time leading to improved survival and reproductive success. Argument 2. Heightened Senses and Survival Advantage The ability of psilocybin to heighten sensory perception is another pillar supporting the hypothesis. Studies by Roland Fisher and others have documented how low doses of psilocybin can significantly enhance visual acuity, auditory sensitivity, and other sensory functions. In the challenging environments our ancestors lived in, such heightened senses could have provided crucial advantages in hunting, foraging, and avoiding predators, directly contributing to the survival and evolutionary success of early human groups. Argument 3. Enhanced Sexual Arousal and Reproduction McKenna also speculated about the role of psilocybin in increasing sexual arousal, potentially leading to higher rates of reproduction. While direct evidence from prehistoric times is lacking, the general consensus among researchers today is that substances that alter consciousness can affect sexual behavior and social bonding. This effect, combined with the communal experiences often induced by psilocybin, could have fostered stronger social bonds and increased mating opportunities, driving the rapid expansion of early human populations. Argument 4. Long-Term Psychological Benefits and Social Cohesion Emerging studies on psilocybin suggest that the experience can cause long-term benefits, such as increased compassion, reduced fear and anxiety, and a greater sense of connection to others. These psychological shifts could have been instrumental in early human societies, promoting cooperation, empathy, and effective leadership. However, it's important to note that psilocybin can also cause paranoia and anxiety in some individuals, making the outcome of the experience somewhat unpredictable. Argument 5. Synesthesia and the Development of Language the phenomenon of synesthesia, blending of sensory experiences like seeing sounds, is a well-documented effect of psilocybin. McKenna proposed that this blending of sensory inputs could have played a critical role in the development of symbolic thought and language. The vivid synesthetic experiences induced by psilocybin might have stimulated the cognitive flexibility necessary for creating symbols and language facilitating communication and the sharing of complex ideas within early human communities. In conclusion, while these arguments provide compelling support for the stoned ape hypothesis, it's essential to approach them with a balanced perspective, acknowledging the limitations of current evidence while remaining open to the potential insights they offer into our evolutionary history.
Despite the intriguing arguments supporting the stoned ape hypothesis, two significant counterpoints challenge its validity. Argument 1. Lack of direct archaeological evidence. One of the main criticisms of the stoned ape hypothesis is the absence of direct archaeological evidence linking early human consumption of psilocybin mushrooms to cognitive development. While the hypothesis suggests that psilocybin played a crucial role in the evolution of human consciousness and society, there are no concrete findings, such as mushroom remnants or clear depictions in ancient art, that definitively support the idea that early humans consumed these substances in a way that significantly impacted their evolution. Proving that our ancestors consistently consumed psilocybin mushrooms in significant quantities poses a methodological challenge. The perishable nature of mushrooms means that direct evidence of their consumption is difficult, if not impossible, to find. Critics argue that without this evidence, the hypothesis remains speculative, relying more on inference and imagination than on concrete proof. Argument 2. The Genetic Influence of Psilocybin Another point of dispute is the hypothesis suggestion that psilocybin could directly influence human genetic material, leading to permanent changes in brain structure and function. Current scientific understanding indicates that while substances like psilocybin can affect brain activity and psychology, the leap to genetic changes that would be passed down through generations is purely speculative. There have been no studies examining the impact of successive generations engaging in continuous consumption of psilocybin. Additionally, the ingestion of psilocybin during pregnancy and its influence on fetal development have never been studied or even documented. In conclusion, while the stoned ape hypothesis provides a fascinating lens through which we can view human evolution, it is met with substantial skepticism within the scientific community. The lack of direct evidence, combined with the complexity of evolutionary processes, means that the hypothesis remains a provocative theory rather than an established fact. As we continue to explore the origins of human consciousness and evolution, it is vital to consider a wide range of evidence and perspectives, maintaining both an open mind and a critical eye. Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Subscribe for more videos from The Better Dimension.